when you get to the end of the test, I want you to make sure that you uh, at least uh, uh, do, you have to scroll down uh, to find your answer. Sometimes some people are getting confused. There's like a thing at the top where they couldn't see their score. So just scroll down when you get to the end and you'll be able to see it. So score is because I took my time. All right. No, <laughs> no don't worry. So again, this is totally like, it's not a measure of how smart you are. You can always go back and take it too. You can take it as many times as you want. It's a practice test. So um, this is not the actual test. The actual test. Wait, is so you're going to give us an actual test on this? No, no, this is all okay. this, this, this chapter. If you read the chapter, talks a lot about IQ and IQ tests and how they work. And like, not only that, but like how, how we measure IQ. Um, Cause the guy that we're talking about has the highest IQ in the world, Chris Langan. Right. So it talks cool. about him and uh, how he has a IQ that's like 195, which is like 30, po- it's like 30 points higher than Einstein. Um, and we'll talk about why, why that is. I think this chapter is really interesting. So, okay. So let me go through exactly how this test breaks down because some of you are starting to finish um, and get done with it. But the, basically the way it goes is from one to 50 or zero to 50, basically. That's, that's like any regular test. Um, they give this again to NFL players because before they come into the draft. Um, mostly this is because they want to see how people uh, – like use their practical intelligence like how guys especially in the nfl like you're getting a bunch of information thrown at you all at once and not only that but like when you're in the middle of a game you have to be able to point things out and and recognize things and like it's all practicality right it's not an academic test it is literally your brain trying to make connections to everything right um and that is what the nfl you know not only just you need to be extremely talented you need to have some sort of practical intelligence in order to play in the nfl to learn a playbook, to learn, because if you can't learn that stuff, you're really not going to be successful. Like what they need, and especially in football, um, you know, you, you have to make sure that you are hitting on all cylinders at, and do, everyone's doing everything right. And if you don't, if you have one weak spot in your team, you're not going to be that good. So that's why it's so important that they take this test and try to measure like how intelligent some people are, how they retain, it's not even intelligence, how they retain information. So this is called the Wonderlick test. Um, there are plenty of quarterbacks and things like that who score pretty high. I'll give you guys the averages, though, for, for what, in the NFL at least, <coughs> what the average scores are usually. So for quarterbacks, it's 25.9. For wide receivers, it's 17.5. Or no, for running backs, it's 17.5. For wide receivers, it's 19.7. For tight ends, it's 26.7. For offensive linemen, it's 26.8. And then it's in the 20s, basically, for all the defensive guys. So for, to be an offensive lineman, if you guys don't know, it takes a lot of, uh, of practice on knowing where to go, how to change things up, blocking schemes. Like, it's really, really complicated. And you need to have kind of uh, practical intelligence in order to do that. And then on top of that, too, so you're, the average score usually on this test is a 25. That is usually people get a 25 or a 26. Uh, on this test and that is the average so if you scored somewhere around there uh you're considered quote-unquote average intelligence or average practical Uh, so um system analysis so if you are uh, if you scored a 32 you would be in a good average for the system and for a systems analysis or systems analyst excuse me um a chemist is at a 31 electrical engineer at a 30 an engineer at a 29 an accountant at a 28 an executive at a 28, a teacher at a 28, a copywriter at a 27, librarian at a 27, a salesperson at a 25, secretary 24, uh, electrician 25, nurse 20, uh, uh, electrician 23, nurse 23, bank teller 22, cashier 21, receptionist 21, craftsman at an 18, security guard at a 17, warehouseman at a 15, and a janitor at a 14. Um, so those are usually... They also use this on certain jobs too. They will t- say before you take this test, you need to um, have like have something on there. Yeah, is that Eddie? Oh my god, that scared me. Did um, you take the IQ test? Did I take it? Yeah. I've not taken it yet. I've take I've not taken it recently. I took this like a while ago, and I scored like a thirty-one. Yeah. I think. So You're a quarterback needs. I, I could be a quarter. I could be a quarterback in the NFL. That's right. <laughs> um, so. Uh, again, this is just something that they use. It's not the only thing. Obviously, you have to have talent. You have to be physically, it's, uh, physically tall. Like, Leave. 
like you have to be at least Thanks, somewhat. Hundred bits. You have to be somewhat athletic in order to do this, right? Um, so you, so it's not just like you are uh, that you are extremely like you're smart or intelligent. You also have to be uh, like you have to have some talent too. So that's why putting this all together when we're talking about outliers, I think is really important. Um, so let's go through. So now that you guys took that, does anyone want to share their scores? What did, what did everyone get? No? Everyone wants to keep it. I got a 12. I got a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Mm-hmm. There's 50 questions. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what? Like, how does that work? Um, all right. Well, yeah. So if you want to take it again, again, I'm, I threw this on you guys. Like, usually they give you guys plenty of times to go back. You can always go back and see what your test would. How do you even study needs? That's not fair. <laughs> uh, they, you just keep practicing, like so. For, nah, man, they, so yeah, for practice, for the guys in the NFL, they just make a take it over and over. Like agents literally will sit their guys down and like make them study for this for like two weeks, and will make them take one over and over and over and over again to make sure that they uh, can. Because if you get a higher one, you're you're more likely to get drafted higher, which means you make more money. So, um, That's okay. What happened to me? Let's talk about just this in general, this chapter. So this chapter, for those of you who have read it, which should be all of you, but I know some of you probably have not. For those yeah. of you who have read it, um, I, the thing that I think you guys need to, uh, that I want you guys to talk about, or at least what we're going to talk about today, is this guy, Chris Langham, who is considered by many to be, he has the highest IQ ever recorded in history uh, at a 195. Um, I think it's what it's something like it's in the one nineties, which is way higher than most people. He's about 30 points higher than Einstein. Um, and so that, I mean, that in itself is, is very impressive. And the interview that with him as well, uh, is just bizarre. It's like, it's a very crazy, like the way he talks, like I just, it's like hard to follow him. So what do you guys think about him? What's his name? Chris Langan. Christopher Langan. He's considered the the he's considered he has the the highest IQ out of anyone in the world. Um, at least that's been on record. There might be people who have a higher IQ, but he's he has the highest IQ on record. Uh, but what do you guys think about him? Did anyone watch that interview? No. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> All right. So I would suggest you go and watch that interview. It's like ten minutes long. You have to watch the whole thing. But he talks about, like, his theories on God, which is actually surprising. Huh? He has a mustache. Yeah. I mean, this this guy does not look like he would be the smartest person. <laughs> he, looks like a, he looks like a redneck, and that's what he is. He's, he's, he's a redneck. Um, like, I, I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. Like, he, he is a dude who just w- – you would not even guess that he, was, he had that high of an IQ. In fact, he currently still works as a bouncer at a bar in one of the Dakotas, I think. Mm. So this guy is considered, and I really like this chapter, and I think if any chapter, like you guys, not only the 10,000-hour one, but this one as well, is really important because it shows when somebody is not successful. How many of you just assume that if you're a genius, you're going to be successful? Like, like, honestly, like how many of you just assume, before maybe reading this or just in general, how many people you kind of assume that? Anyone want to answer? No. I think it's damn No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe Exotic, what, what, your, what is your uh, opinion on this? <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. I love that. I haven't finished it yet. I have two more episodes. I, I'm not, I was talking about it with before this class started. It is the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, it. Uh, how many is there? Like eight? There's seven. Oh, seven. I'm on five right now. Oh, dude. Five. Five messed me up. Five <laughs> messed me up. pretty good. It's good. Someone though. dies. Yeah. Shut up. I'm not on that episode yet. No, don't, don't spoil it. Hey, it is, I, swear I swear to you. I that that episode, episode five, I had to go back and watch it like three times because I thought I missed something, and I'm just like I couldn't believe what was happening. So. <laughs> I'm on like episode three eighteen. All right, so who has? Let's talk. Ew, yeah, you're, you're so Chris Langan. <laughs> let's talk about Chris. All right, I'm reading all of you again. Chris Galea. <laughs> Chris Galea. 
Joe Exotic, Joe Exotic, can I get your autograph? Yes, 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 you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, all of you shut up. Um, all right, so here we go. So we, the, when we're talking about this, uh, this guy, Chris Langan, I want you guys to pay attention to at least the idea that you, the, of what it means to be successful. So we kind of have this assumption sometimes that like, if you're a genius, you pretty much are always going to be successful because you'll find your ways to make yourself successful since you are, um, since you are, you know, you're smart. You should be able to figure it out. But there's two different types of intelligence, practical intelligence and academic intelligence. Those are two very separate things. And I think it was really, really important that this, of this chapter to show like what the differences are between those two and why they are so important in those differences. Um, so uh, I would tell you guys to go watch that interview with him and talk and be able to talk more about practical intelligence versus, versus academic intelligence and what that all means because it is so important um, overall. So uh, Kathy is on. All right. So uh, yeah, so that is, so that part of that chapter uh, is really, is, is like, again, Chris Langan is the guy's name. He was on a game show, One Versus 100. I was actually going to show that. Uh, you could go look it up in YouTube. He, he has a, a couple different things. Kathy, if you're listening to, I've muted everybody, but if you're listening, um, this, uh, go sign up for my Google group class. I sent you an invite today. So there's a Google group that you need to join, both for this and for econ. So go jo join both of them, please. So that way I, I have everybody in uh, the class. Um, okay. So uh, again, this is why this chapter is, uh, I think, really interesting. It's different. Um, does anyone else have, it, it, like, does anyone else have anything that they want to add about IQ? Uh, anything like that that you think is important to discuss or? No. Bueller. Okay. So, yeah, we are uh, – <laughs> Philippe, Philippe, I'm not kidding you. You need to stop. You need to stop. I'm already docking points for today, too, because you're annoying me. All right, you're here, Philippe. You guys are out. Both of you are out. I'm kicking you out in like two seconds. Get get rid of those backgrounds. All right, you're done. Bye, Philippe. Where are you? Philippe. Okay, so there we go. All right, so um, any additional questions that you guys have about this chapter or anything else? If you guys have not read it, I would definitely tell you to read this, the, these two chapters that you have to read. Um, this is the only time I'm going to give you two. They're, they're basically just one and the same. I don't know why he made two chapters, but um, this is a really important part of, of the book and the story. So if anything, uh, here, let me go through at least. If you guys have questions, you can stop me. Um, but here's what I want you guys to work on this week. So you guys, if you have not finished my, um, my, uh, my assignments from last night, go ahead and finish those today, please. Um, make sure that you guys are uh, finishing those and getting that done. Um, I, uh, I will... What, what, what are we doing? So yeah, this week you guys need to finish that. If you have not finished it, at least turn it in. I'll give, I'll dock some points for it being late, but I won't dock that much. Uh, you need to turn in your quizzes on Friday. So Friday is still the day that I'm having you guys turn in quizzes. Um, it looks like we're sticking to Friday. And then Ada, you have a question? Quizzes? There's a quiz. <clears throat> okay, a quiz. You said quiz. quizzes, brother. No, no, no. I Quiz, sorry. Um, and then next week, uh, we have one assignment that you guys are doing uh, next week. Uh, I have a YouTube video that I, I made that I'm going to post on Sunday. Um, you guys will have an assignment due on Wednesday. 
Uh, but honestly, I'm posting everything on Sunday. And then if you guys want to finish it in a day, you totally can. I'm having you listen to one podcast, uh, do an assignment and watch my YouTube video, and then you're done. And then that's it for the week. Uh, so you guys can finish it literally on Sunday and have it in and done even before then. Um, so uh, like, cause we have Thursday, Friday off next week and that's when spring break starts. So Wednesday's considered our, our final day before we are um, done. So does that make sense for everybody? Next week, Wednesday. Say it again. Next week, Wednesday is Next our, week. our break. Wednesday is the last official day before uh, Easter break. Yes. Okay. And the podcast, have you already sent it to us? I've not. No, no, no. Okay. I'm putting everything on, out on Sunday. So that way you guys can get it done. By, so now I just want you guys to focus on this week's stuff. I can put it on sa I can put it out on Saturday too. Uh, so that way you guys, if you want to, you can start it during the weekend. So I'm just going to head on it. I've already, I'm basically done. I'm just waiting for it to, so I can, I could uh, actually Sunday might not be about or Saturday might not be a bad idea. I'll just put, post it then. Um, but yeah, I'm ahead for once in my life. I'm ahead on, on all the stuff that we need to do. So, um, okay. So any questions about this or what we're doing this week? Mr. Neach. Yo, what's up? What's up? Put Alina um, back on. Get out of my classroom. What do you mean? <laughs> this ain't a classroom. This is my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> It's my classroom, though. All right, see you later, Mr. Neach. Ava, what's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah. All right, Alina, what's up? Bro, Alina, nothing. You got, you got any he pictures? Want to you. Did you read the chapters? Me? Yeah. <laughs> of course you didn't. Of course you didn't. I told you yesterday I was using Spark Notes. <laughs> read the chapter. All right. <laughs> so um here's what so again that's all you guys have to do next week uh if you guys don't have anything else you guys are free to go uh, but just let me know if you have any questions uh, i'll be around for you guys to ask um and yeah so all right make sure you guys are reading and reading the chapter before you you start the quiz this week so okay thank you bye right, brother you guys see you later right.